So I'm Ricardo, the second author of the paper, and Cristina, the first author, was not able to come, and that's why I'm here. So uh, this paper is about uh, an experience uh, in online education, and more specifically in um, sexy supervision. Okay? There are a lot of uh, online universities at this moment, and uh, it's true that uh, depending on the way uh, uh, students and, and students are uh, carried out, okay, maybe you need uh, this kind of, of uh, requisite to get the diploma. Okay, so, yeah, <laughs> maybe it's a little bit far. So we will go into the introduction, then go into the state of the art of coaching itself, and then we will describe the study using the design results and discussion, discussion uh, approach. And finally, we'll go into draw, drawing some, some conclusions. Okay, so, yeah. So, finally, uh, your online universities are changing the way uh, we are thinking about education. And uh, I don't know how many of you are working in this kind of uh, uh, universities. So, nobody? Okay. Well, uh, the first author of this paper is currently working in that. And this is the way uh, we came into this, this problem, which is not uh, little, okay? So they, they have changed, uh, but you know that there are some concerns uh, in online universities regarding the quality and the, the learning experience as a whole, okay? Because normally in this kind of institutions, I mean, the normal traditional universities, we normally combine, okay? So we got this uh, double approach of online and uh, offline, and maybe we combine. But what happens when you are really out and you never, never met the, the student? This is quite different. And okay, maybe for a normal subject it's a problem, but for a master thesis, I think this is another problem. And I, and I think this problem is more or less new. Okay, so there are a lot of enablers for uh, the, the learning ex experience, which should be the, the problem here from the student side. Uh, side. Maybe the most important enabler is the intent to persist. Okay. While in the teacher side is the instructor feedback and clear directions to the to the to the student. Okay, so for instance, uh, as I mentioned, purely online universities have concern not only in courses but also in test supervision. Okay, so yeah, so the question is: Is it different from traditional universities? Is it different from uh, I don't work in, in in an online university, but is it different what Christina is doing that? compared to my, my approach or to my uh, experience. And this is more or less the aim of the, of, the, uh, of the paper. But it's not the only aim, okay? Maybe the second aim is, is it coaching? <laughs> it's one of the, 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 let's say, the passwords around, okay? So two aims, the first is investigate the implication of online supervision for both the students and, and uh, supervisors. And the second is investigate the connection of online supervision with traditional coaching activities. Then I think the next one should be something like what is coaching? I will explain with that. What is coaching? In traditional uh, learning environments, you tell the student, this is the student, okay? So you tell him or her, okay, develop yourself. You should do that, 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 and that. Do it. And the guy or the lady does whatever and develops, okay? Traditional. We got another way, it's mentoring. Okay, which is which is that? This is a role model. Okay, so I'm the role model. I say, okay, look at me. This is the student, but I'm gonna duplicate. So look at me. This is how I develop myself. Okay, this is mentoring. And what about coaching? Oh, well, coaching is something like that. Okay, you should develop yourself. Okay, got it. So I give them her he he clear instructions. Okay, so. Going in a more scientific way of doing things, okay? Coaching is a conversation, a dialogue between a coach and a coachee. The coach is the more senior, normally, and the coachee is the less senior, in this case, the student, okay? In a result uh, oriented context, uh, that, that can be, for instance, trying to get the dissertation, okay? Done, okay? And this process enables a change in the cognitive, emotional, and behavioral sides of, uh, side of persons that unlocks the potential, because they, you want them to be better, to develop, to learn, to achieve some objectives, okay? 
to perform at the maximum level. Okay, there is a fly who likes me a lot. Okay, <laughs> maybe it's the only element here that likes me a lot. So, thank you. Good. So, uh, coaching entails open ended questions, not answers. Okay, active list listening from the coach side. Okay, trust and engagement and willingness to learn among other aspects in both uh, sides of, the, of, of this uh, scenario system. Okay, good. So, given the flexibility that technology brings, e coaching is something to keep an eye on too. And, well, okay, there is uh, some uh, citation regarding the importance of, of technology, okay? And online coaching can be more time efficient than coaching normal, normal coaching, face to face or offline coaching. Achieving goals more quickly and in a fewer sessions. This is what this author says, but all, of course, there are some criticisms too, because sometimes face to face is, so, is something that gives more added value. And at least I am working in an offline university, and I believe that this is so, at least from time to time. Okay, so the study. Yeah, the method. We used a semi structured interview. Uh, the outline is attitudes of the, of the students during the process of supervision. A strategy is used by supervisors to stimulate adequate attitudes uh, in the side of the students. The assessment of the studies of uh, coaching is in, and finally, the question that is online supervision harder than conventional one? What are the advantages? The, the advantages. Okay. So the interview was done to 22 higher education professionals with four years of experience in online supervision, in uh, test supervision, okay? Uh, mainly in Spain, but not all. Almost all, but, uh, let's say 90 something percent are Spaniards and uh, the others not. Okay, uh, more or less half women, half men, okay? Good. So, results. Going into the results side. So regarding the, the, the thesis and online supervision, there is a confusion regarding what online supervision is. Normally, if you have supervised some thesis in the normal world, in the offline setting, this is so. Also there, what is supervision? I'm not your friend. I am not your, I'm not your judge. I am, not, I am your supervisor, okay? So imagine what is in online uh, settings. I think it's a little bit worse, more concerns. Difficulty to understand what an, an academic project is. I think the same thing that in normal environments, okay? Regarding the supervisor, difficulty to understand the role of the supervisor. I think one more time is more or less the same. I am not friend, I am not your friend, I am not your judge, I am not your whatever, okay? Regarding themselves, I mean the students. Lack of self-confidence. There is a lack of self-confidence. Normally they think that they are able to do something and they are not able or vice versa. Okay, good. A strategies used by supervisors stimulate an active attitude uh, in the student side. In trying to develop decision making, responsibility and also autonomy. One more time, I think that we are uh, speaking the same language. Stimulate the management and planning. T sorry, time management and planning in the side. One more time, the same. General motivation, mental block man management. Anything new here? Somebody who has done their his PhD or his PhD in the last five years. Somebody doing that at uh, this moment with mental block all days. Okay, thinking that this is nonsense. <laughs> I remember. I didn't wake up, but I still remember. Okay. Reduce a student's negative emotions, like for instance, anxiety, fear, anger, frustration, okay? Stimulate the choice of the topic, not the choice from your side, but from their side. This is better, it, it gets a better engagement. Reduce the difficulties regarding the identifying and following the objectives of the project. And one more time, I think that this is more or less what is happening in offline. And, okay, is it coaching? 59% uh, say that yes, this is coaching. Okay? They are they're using indirect methods. Okay? So, like that. They are trying to, uh, yeah, to teach them how to learn, not 
telling them, okay, you should do that and that and that and that. These are not uh, strict rules or uh, strict uh, um, instructions. They are just trying to convince the other that this is the way, not these steps, but the way. Okay. 27% uh, are saying that no, this is not coaching at all. Maybe it can be something related to mentoring. Okay. Do what I do. I am your role model. I did that in the past when I were like you. Okay? And 50%, more or less, they say that, okay, it's somehow coaching. So maybe they are thinking that this is normally teaching and learning processes, normal, okay, the traditional you get, plus some coaching. Good. Yeah. So is it harder than traditional offline search settings? Uh, some say, uh, this 9 from 20, the ones that respond, uh, they say that online is harder. Okay? Because of the anxiety on the other side, they feel anxiety for not touching you. Okay? For not reaching you in the office. Maybe you know this, this idea. Okay, you're not in the office, but you can send me an email, okay? <laughs> Good. So, um, I'm never. In, I'm never in, no, I am not in the office, okay? We should be out trying to grab some money, isn't it? Okay, good. So, uh, the rest are telling that there are no huge difference between the two, okay? So, it's more or less the same. It can be covered, okay? However, offline sometimes is harder because the contact of the student. <laughs> okay, so, it's something like, yeah, how can I say it? Like a wall to hide. Okay? I am offline. You cannot see me. Good. Okay? Somebody thinking in this in this trend? No? Okay, good. I got I think one more time. Okay. One one more slide. Okay. So we are we got like half of the people telling that this is harder because of anxiety, and the other telling that it are more or less the same, but sometimes offline is harder. Good. So conclusions, just one more slide. Developing a thesis is demanding for both students and supervisors. Any news here? No. 59% of the supervisors apply coaching activities. A third of them believe that this coaching is not a strictly academic work. Okay, so they are doing because they believe that this is better for the student, but this is not academic. Okay, this is development or I don't know, something like that, okay? One third believe that classic approaches are most, the most frequent ones in online settings, okay? Coaching is demanding in terms of effort, they always say, okay, coaching is something really time consuming and it's sometimes easier to say, okay, do that, 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 and that, and forget about me, okay? I won't be sort of simeon, okay? Good. This is for, for, Football lovers only. Good. So, uh, our supervisor. Is he the coach? I don't know. I don't think so. Well, our supervisor um, who are able to integrate the classical teaching, learning, and coaching processes, the one with a more accurate vision of their supervision duties? I think so. Okay, so the ones that are combining are the ones that more or less know what is the topic. Okay? Good. What is the mix between the classical approaches and coaching? Uh, sorry, is the mix? Sorry, is the mix uh, between the classical approach and the coaching the most realistic view? Okay, so you sometimes do the normal way, and sometimes when you feel that the other is quite lost or needs more help or whatever, maybe you do some coaching activities. And why not maybe some mentoring activities? Okay, I did that, so maybe you can do it. Awesome.